What's up, everybody? CCET3 Drums again with another weekend haul video. <clears throat> um, got a few cars to show you. Um, seems like my weekend hauls have been shrinking the last few weekends, um, not finding as much stuff. I found two cars in the wild this weekend. Two. And the rest were uh, eBay or flea market. <clears throat> so we'll start out with the two that I did find out in the wild. <clears throat> Which, the first one here is the 65 Mercury Comet Cyclone from the 56th anniversary Hot Wheels set. I don't remember which one this was called, the uh, Pearl and Chrome or whatever it's called. Not sure, but this was, uh, well, not counting the uh, Chase thingy, Raging Express. I now have all of them. This was the only one I wasn't able to find anywhere, but found it at a Walgreens yesterday by itself. Thankfully, it was the only one. Only one in the set actually sitting there. So that was a cool find. Um, I'm probably gonna make a video on this set. <clears throat> so we won't open this one quite yet, but um, some of these sets are eh. But uh, some of them have some pretty good castings and I, this particular one this year, I really like the paint job, the uh, whatever you would call that, teal bluish greenish with the uh gold orangey-ish whatever chrome cool set <clears throat> the second car that i found in the wild this weekend another one of these guys i found one a couple weeks ago at a kroger in a shipper just sitting there And then I just found this one yesterday at a Barnes and Noble, just sitting on a shelf, just sitting there like this. Uh, there was a, there was a Mercedes there and a BMW and a Porsche. And a, no, no Lamborghini surprisingly or Corvette. But the other four were there and I snagged this guy up. But yeah, second one I found awesome to have this <clears throat> I already have my first one here uh, loose that we can look at the red maroon 67 Chevy Camaro chase from the rent vintage racing club so I'm um, the card, the card is not perfect, but I don't really care. Uh, just glad to have a second one of these. That's awesome. Well, yeah, I showed this one off in uh, another video that you can check out. Um, the it's the opening hood version, the original tooling of the '67 Camaro. There's this original one, and then there's a retooled version without an opening hood. And then there's a third 67 Camaro casting that's not been out very long, but it's just a completely different like tool. Looks a little different, more like a 69 Camaro casting. If you're familiar with that one, looks a little more like that one. But yeah, I was very happy to find another one of these, especially since yesterday, yeah, yesterday was the, I went out Friday and yesterday, and between the two days, all I found were this Camaro and the Gasser. But anyway, got two eBay cars here also that I got this weekend. First one here is kind of a cool one. Got a hot bird here and a short card. Yellow flames, orange chrome, 
Spectra Flame-ish red color. This is from, it looks like, 2009 or 2010, it looks like. I only have, a, I think, two of these in my collection, so I had to pick this up. And it was really cheap, too. These don't come very cheap on eBay. It's a popular casting. I think it's just a nostalgia thing. Very similar to the uh, 77 Pontiac Firebird casting that came out in like 2016 or so, but this is an old casting. This has been out for a long time, long time. This one came out in like 2010, but the actual casting doesn't say on the base is pretty sure at least from the 80s, if not earlier than that. So it is a metal base. So, nice solid casting. Basically, a, a fire bird. They just call it the hot bird. <clears throat> Whoops. Had one fall there. But anyway, next eBay car the Volkswagen Golf. The, uh, this is the Mark II, I believe. And this is from the holiday set from, I don't know, 2014, 2015. Never really saw these in stores. I got the Civic on eBay because it's a Civic. I don't think I ever saw any of these in a store. But I wasn't really collecting very seriously back then. But yeah, these are nice. The Civic's really nice. I should have gotten that from upstairs to show you, but I forgot. Even came with one of these little things. The Little Golf Mark II. I love this little casting. got quite a few of these of this model but I really like this paint job uh, red's my favorite color I think it just looks really good on here and it's got some black detail on the hood well is it really black it's gold and black very thin stripes and then yeah your gold wheels and all that detail, I think it just looks really good. It pops. So those are my two eBay cars of the week. I do have a 2024 G case mainline coming, but still not here yet, but that'll be a video as soon as I get that. And lastly, I've got some flea market finds from today. Um, a few loose cars and a few carded cars. Uh, I guess we'll start with the loose ones. Got three of them here. First one's a cool one. It is the Datsun 510 wagon casting that came in a what was it, like maybe a speed, speed blur five pack or something like that? It was one of those five packs where like this was the only good car in it. I mean, obviously you can see it's kind of faded and the wheels are faded and the chrome's fading, but I have this already in mint condition. So this is just a second loose one for the collection, I guess. 
just wanted to pick it up. It was like a buck, so why not? Then I've got two loose 63 Corvettes here. This one was from like 2005, I believe. I don't have a whole lot of these split window 63 Corvettes. Um, you can tell it's a 63 by the split window there. They have a bunch of Hot Wheels castings, uh, like the 64, Stingray, the 63 here, a bunch of Stingray castings and they all look pretty similar, but this is the split window 63, even though this particular one just says Corvette Stingray. They just kind of retooled it a few times and you know, they changed the name sometimes, but this is a 63, not to com be confused with the many other similar looking Corvettes. Yeah, these aren't in perfect shape, obviously, but they were all a dollar and loose. But they were, they came in their little, in a little baggie at least. This one, another 63, is from like 2011 or so in green. Looks pretty good, other than being a little roughed up. The original car and casting itself and color pretty cool looking black PR5 wheels starting to fade and get rubbed up but yeah I like this one a lot these are both kind of cool I don't have a ton of these as I was saying but these caught my eye I just I liked them there weren't a ton of good loose cars but picked up a couple of them here We've got four carded cars here from the flea market. <clears throat> um, we'll start off with this guy. A new model for 2011. It's the Mini Challenge. I do have a couple of these, but not this original release. This is a very nice dark navy blue with the, uh, it's got the red line wheels. very cool I don't like a lot of the liveries and paint decos on these minis that they put on them or just goofy colors but this is a pretty solid looking one Twenty eleven. Wow 13 years ago it doesn't seem like it yeah, Hot Wheels were, they looked really good. The main lines looked really good back then. Arguably better than they do now. But yeah, that's a sharp little Mini Cooper. <clears throat> Got another 2011 new model here as well. It's the first of the 69 Studebaker Champ. Very nice, solid teal, aqua, whatever color. Nice color, or a nice uh, Goodyear detail on the wheels with the basic black five spokes. See, honest, <clears throat> to be honest, if you ask me, like 2011, like these, I would say probably mid 2000s to like 2013, 2012. We'll say mid 2000s to like 2013 or so. I think personally it was like the pinnacle of Hot Wheels basic castings. Like they all looked, especially for like muscle cars, muscle cars were really big in that era and they did them right. 
they would make them look realistic or stock factory or they would put solid colors on them or just like change up the wheels all the time and they just they things were so much more realistic and detailed than the main lines now I feel like they've just cheaped out over time and the uh I just like I like the cards better too from that from back then just don't look as cheapy to me but yeah, I would say definitely for muscle cars especially that that era mid 2000s to late or early whatever 2012 2013 is really when they were top in May lines but anyway that's a nice nice truck right there two more cars here from specialty sets both of them Walmart specialty sets um, this one was from like two years ago two or three it's the 19 Corvette zero one convertible from the 70th anniversary Corvette set never saw this one in stores I picked up the uh, 55 here I don't like the uh, that particular Corvette Stingray casting I got that 64 never saw the 69 never saw the 97 I uh, picked up the C6 pick up the C8R but the uh, 97 69 and this one I never saw in the store and still don't have them but I saw this one today and uh, we went ahead and grabbed this. This was one of those like $2 and change Walmart exclusive sets. Um, they were usually really good with like full detail but not metal bases. Kind of the Silver Series before Silver Series came out. I'm not crazy about this casting just because it's a convertible and the uh, larger rear wheels. Other than that, it's very nicely well done. The, it's even got the mirrors, and it's just got, it's very well detailed. I just don't always like convertible castings, or in real life, I just don't think convertibles look as good. Very well done, and obviously I like it enough to pick up, but look at that detail, it's great. <clears throat> just not my favorite. I think the uh, C7Z06 casting, other than uh, not having the side mirrors, which does make it look a little goofy if you look hard, I think that, since it's a coupe, I like that casting better, but this is, this is a pretty good one. And then lastly, my last car to show you here, <clears throat> Another one I was not able to find in the store. This guy. 81 Toyota Starlet. From the J Imports. I even found a Skyline in Walmart. I even found that guy. Found a couple of these. Saw plenty of those. Never saw a single Toyota or CRX. Not a single one. So now I do have all of them except the CRX. So we'll have to get that. There was not one at the flea market, but this was a good price <clears throat> and never saw it. So had to get this. <clears throat> I mean, look at that art. Makes you feel bad to even open it, but we'll, we'll keep that card for sure. <clears throat> Look at that. That's a nice car. Not to be that guy, but I, I still think the Skyline might be my favorite. It just looks so sharp. Let me grab that, it's right over here. The other two are upstairs currently, but <clears throat> that thing's just sharp. Nice red, favorite color, and then those wheels. It's just excellent. Fantastic. Mm -hmm. 
But yeah, it's not about him right now. Look at this guy, so nice. It's even got some, I'm not sure, it says Starlet. Yeah, it says Starlet. Can't tell very well, but. And then Toyota. Starlet. Those wheels look <clears throat> really good with that chrome lip. Yeah, that's awesome. That's probably... I mean, I was glad to find this guy today, but... Or the other day, but this might be my favorite one from the weekend that I picked up. That's it, though, guys. Only 20... 21 minutes this time. Um, that was my weekend. Not much, like I said, in the store. I have not seen <clears throat> any new premiums besides like the pop culture and whatnot. Um, no new Silver Series stuff, no tubular trucks anywhere, no Boulevard, no car culture, no two packs most places, no new tr team transport, it's just ridiculous. And then there was a wave of main lines new around here uh, the last few weekends, but I have them all now, so it's just peg warmers now. So uh, let me know if you guys have found anything, but uh, yeah, I hope you guys have a good weekend and happy Easter if you do celebrate. Um, have a good weekend and have a good week this week.